With me now, Frisco Times columnist Liz Peek. You know, definitely not our parents' Democrat party, the JFK <laughs> party. The no. scary thing is, maybe I think they were cheering for a socialist Bernie Sanders or Keith Ellison, right? I mean, I mean, but the Democrat party does appear to be in disarray. Well, right? I, yeah, I think it's interesting. There's been a lot of attention paid to the schism in the Republican Party between moderates and Trump supporters and conservatives and all the other people in between. But guess what? The Democrats have their problems, too. And clearly, the rivalry between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton pointed that out, and it hasn't gone away. Uh, probably as much as, not just because Hillary lost, but because Bernie Sanders' uh, supporters were seriously burned uh, that there was cheating between the DNC and Hillary Clinton. I think they felt like they were not given uh, a proper burial, let's say. They were not given the fair treatment that they deserved. And so there's, there's a lot of uh, enmity. And what's interesting about this, though, Tom Perez ran for the head of the party against Keith Ellison. Uh, and a lot of the progressive elements in the party, like Liz Warren, came out in favor of Keith Ellison. But the truth is the policies of both these men are pretty similar. Uh, there's a difference because Ellison is a Muslim and he's black. But the truth is Tom Perez, as a Hispanic, is also uh, a minority candidate. But if you look at their, uh, again, the policies that they were pursuing, they're practically yeah, identical. Uh, let's talk about those policies just for a quick second. Uh, are you going to see Rachel Maddow or Larry O'Donnell or Chris Matthews reporting on the booing of Tom Perez? <laughs> are you going to see them reporting that, hey, America didn't want these policies. That's why President Obama basically destroyed the Democrat policy party over the last eight years, about a thousand positions wiped out and taken over by Republicans at all levels of government. Um, no, the answer is no, you will not Do see not that. <laughs> oh, I know that's a multi-level question I gave you. Uh, no, definitely not. But, but I think, uh, it, yeah, the policies that destroyed the Democratic Party under President Obama um, you know, are still embraced, if not exaggerated, right. under the progressives. Uh, and they haven't really learned a thing. I mean, I, I wrote a column recently about how they're going to give up these uh, so-called uh, blue-collar Democrats forever. Those are the people who turned against the Democrats and against Hillary Clinton last November. Those are the people who cost them the election in states like Wisconsin, right. uh, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Ohio. You're talking the, un the union factory workers. Absolutely. Worker, absolutely. Yeah. And, do, and union workers, exactly. Yeah. And do they think that those people are going to be attracted by uh, Bernie Sanders or Tom Perez, for Good example, point. and what they're pushing, right. not at all. We got breaking news for you, Liz, and for the viewer out there. Police arresting a suspect after he allegedly killed three people in downtown Fresno, California. It's a shooting spree. Corey Ali Mohammed allegedly shouted Alu Akbad before opening fire. Police say he specifically targeted only white males. And he posted on Facebook against white people and the government. Muhammad was also wanted in connection to the murder of an unarmed security guard at a Motel 6 last week. Uh, Liz, police have not officially decided the cause, but they, they say possibly terror. What are your thoughts here? Uh, it sure sounds like terror, smells like terror, et cetera. Um, look, I think the really disturbing thing here is that people can go to Facebook and, and to be fair, other places on the social media world and celebrate themselves, publicize their hatred and their awful acts as we have just seen uh, take place recently. And there will be more and more of that because everybody wants to be a celebrity. Everybody wants attention. And doing something like this, posting on Facebook, posting a murder on Facebook as just happened, uh, it's, it, we're going to see more of that. And I think Facebook, you know, Mark Zuckerberg uh, earlier in this year posted a 6,000-word uh, essay on the responsibilities and ambitions of Facebook, and a lot of it had to do with things just like this, uh, preventing the use of these social media institutions, which Facebook really is now, for mm -hmm. nefarious purposes, for spreading hate, etc. cetera. I, I, they're going to have to do better because his fix using artificial intelligence uh, apparently is quite a far way in the in the distance and he is going to have to it ain't working it isn't working and i don't think facebook wants the word killer next to the word facebook next to their yeah, brand no, exactly let's right. peek thank you so much really thank good you. to see you come back soon